Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Quarantine is a tactical three-player FPS that is developed by a new team at Ubisoft Montreal and is being published by Ubisoft. The game was first teased back in 2019 and has faced delays and changes since the original announcement. Let's break down everything we know about Rainbow Six Quarantine, including the character leaks, release window, and more. As always, all the sources will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check those out and support those writers. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Fonk2 for updates on future videos. And with that out of the way, let's get into Rainbow Six Quarantine. Let's start with some quick history and where the idea of the game came from. In 2018, Ubisoft announced a new limited time gameplay mode for Rainbow Six Siege, which was called Outbreak and would allow three players to enter the quarantine zone and face off against monsters and other creatures. The game mode followed an alien parasite found in a USSR space capsule that landed in Truth or Consequence, New Mexico. And we aren't sure if this same story will be used in quarantine, but it's safe to assume that they will probably take similar threads and similar ideas. The gameplay mode was very popular for Siege, so Ubisoft Montreal started development on a full-fledged title. And because the game mode was only available for a small amount of time, it made a lot of fans anticipate this new game and what Ubisoft Montreal was going to show off. Then the first news of the follow-up to Outbreak was Rainbow Six Quarantine, and it was shown off in June of 2019 when the game was first announced with a teaser trailer at E3 and was given a release window for early 2020 for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. The trailer itself is relatively vague. We aren't sure what the watch and arm means in terms of gameplay mechanics, and fans quickly pointed out that Ella and Vigil were the two operators who were seen in the trailer, who are returning characters from Rainbow Six Siege. That same day, Ubisoft released a video with the first gameplay details, they say the whole game's story mode will be co-op, they say the game will also be a player versus environment game, and they will have more connections to Rainbow Six Siege than just the returning characters we saw in the teaser. The official description for the game after this point said, quote, The Rainbow Operators will face off against a totally new breed of mutated alien parasite, infecting human hosts and their surroundings. This new enemy is more lethal and challenging than ever before. Prepare to launch into tense, chaotic, and totally unpredictable missions as you and your squad risk everything every time you step into quarantine. So it sounds like the game will have missions and hopefully will be different enough from Outbreak with enemies, weapons, and characters. And the team also gave details about how this game came about. They said, quote, Rainbow Six Quarantine is being developed by an entirely new team at Ubisoft Montreal that was inspired by the long-standing brand legacy of tactical co-op shooters and a varied cast of operators from Rainbow Six Siege to develop something that is truly more than the sum of its parts. Last year's Outbreak event in Rainbow Six Siege was the spark that ignited passions within this group, and they've come back now a year later with a truly incendiary vision, a deep, radically redesigned full game experience. And for the most part, this was enough to get fans excited. It sounds like they were taking everything they loved about Outbreak and were turning it into a full-fledged title and making it feel like a full-fledged title in quarantine. Then fans noticed that there will probably be a beta for the game on the Ubisoft website under Rainbow Six Quarantine. It asked fans to sign up for updates on the game and a chance to play early, which to most people sounds like there will be a beta of some sort to play around with. So if this interests you, I will link their website down below to sign up, but as of now we still don't know if that will actually happen with all the delays and if they will instead just release it sooner. And the game hadn't even been announced for six months when the game was delayed. In October of 2019, Ubisoft announced that Rainbow Six Quarantine was delayed out of early 2020 into fiscal 2020 or fiscal 2021, which makes the release any time from now when this video was released up until March of 2021. With it already being August 2020, that only gives the current timeline about seven months. But I would say the sooner they could release the game would probably lead to better sales and more people playing this game. Considering as of now it is still launching on current gen consoles instead of next gen, 
and with next generation consoles launching before the end of this year, it could lead to people skipping it because they want games for next gen, they want games to play on their new consoles and aren't going to download this game to play on their last gen consoles. But who knows, they could always upgrade these games and bring them to next gen as well. And then after that, we got a leak in the form of a pamphlet that was posted on Reddit and Imager. It shows 21 operators. It also breaks down the operators into three different types that are Assault, Recon, and Support. We also see a ton of returning characters from Siege, but I'll get into that a little bit later. We also see loadout options with primary weapons, secondary, and specialty like grenades or explosions. They show the game loop, which is hard to read, but we can also see missions, which include sabotage, disruption, escort, and hunt, along with secondary missions that include collect, scan, and defend. We see different locations for the game. We see New York City, which has a low difficulty and three main locations with Liberty Island, Police Precinct, and Monolith Hotel. The next location is San Francisco, which has a medium difficulty, and the three locations are the Mission District, Casino, and Foundation Space. And the last location is TRC, which fans have speculated to be Truth or Consequences New Mexico, which is ground zero for the Outbreak, and it was mentioned in the Outbreak expansion for Siege. And it would make sense why this is the most difficult area and has a high difficulty rating if it was ground zero. And the locations we have for this area are Hospital, Downtown, and some unreadable text. Moving on, we get an image of the enemies, which shows Tissue, Ness, and Hosts, along with Brute, Breacher, Rooter, Smasher, and Apex, all of which showed up in Outbreak, but three new insect form enemies show up as well. And the final image available shows weapons, loadout combinations, account progress, leveling up, and the gameplay loop of the game. But as always with all leaks, take these with a grain of salt. But it does seem to match up with everything we know about the game so far and seems to be pretty credible up to this point. Then it's not huge news, but Quarantine Charms started to show up in Siege, which could easily be faked, but these charms show the Quarantine logo with three different flags. One is the United States, one is the UK, and one is South Korea. If this is used and is real, it will most likely be used as a promotional push for Quarantine and Siege. Just another way to get players excited to check out the game and remind them that this is coming out. And more recently, in June of 2020, we got another alleged leak for Quarantine. This time, the leak was from a data miner who has posted a lot of game files from a pre-release version of Quarantine allegedly. This leak shows off weapon skins, charms, headgear, uniforms, and rarity associated with gear. And all of this is nothing new to Siege players. One thing that is important to point out is that charms have been found in-game with a MTX text, which is usually in reference to microtransactions, which makes it sound like this game will have microtransactions. The current cosmetics that were found in this data leak also have Y1, which fans have speculated to be for the annual bigger updates for this game. Siege, for example, is currently in Season 3 of Year 5, so we could see a similar situation with Quarantine, so it makes sense that all the gear we'd have up to this point is only Year 1. Another leak from this same leaker, Zero Bytes, confirmed all the operators with a full list and said they will have to be unlocked and won't just be given to players from the start. The operators are Jaeger, Tachanka, Habana, Ring, Doc, Echo, Finca, IQ, Ella, Rook, Fuse, Vigil, Pulse, Siege, Alibi, Lion, Zafia, Gridlock, Maestro, and Jackal. Obviously, this is one short than what we saw in the leak above, but it could just be played off as they're still working on some characters or they're still adding them in and out. They also found a list of available missions. We aren't sure if this is all the missions that will be in game or just some of them, but the mission names are Extermination, Spike Free, Stop Hitting Yourself, Target Practice, Blindside, Altogether, Mass Diffusal, Peekaboo, High Ground, From the Dark, Detailed Analytics, Solid Performance, The Harder They Fall, Anti-Nesting, Not In My House, No One Left Behind, Covert Operations, and Resounding Success. 
They were also able to confirm the enemies in this leak to be the Breacher, Bloater, Spiker, Harasser, Rooter, Smasher, Apex, and Grunt. And the leak closed out by saying the game will have PvE ranked and crossplay. Now, ranked is pretty fun for a game like this. It will give an extra layer of replayability, and I could see a lot of players really get into that. And crossplay, we aren't sure if this means between consoles or if this will go across generations. If that's what it means, if we will see this game launch on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 and some crossplay there. So, with that, we'll just have to wait and see. Then fans noticed that Gods and Monsters and Rainbow Six Quarantine were absent from Ubisoft's big event, Ubisoft Forward, and this was a topic during the Q1 earnings call for the company. Investors asked specifically about Rainbow Six Quarantine and Gods and Monsters, and the CFO of Ubisoft did confirm that both games were still set to be released before March 2021, but there is a possibility that one title could be pushed into the next fiscal year. He doesn't say which one, but that would make somewhat sense with having one of these games pushed back just because Ubisoft already has such a full release schedule already with Watch Dogs Legion and all their other games, so we will just have to wait and see if both of these titles are released or if they are going to push a title outside of March 2021. So where does that leave us now? Well, another Ubisoft Forward event is happening in September of 2020, and fans are hoping this one will include more details about Rainbow Six Quarantine. Fans are hoping that we will get to see gameplay at the very least for this game, and that hopefully they will announce that this game will be coming to next-gen consoles as well as current-gen consoles. We will just have to wait and see what ends up happening with this game and what it actually ends up looking like. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long and that ends up being in September, but that would give the game a quick turnaround for release unless the game is delayed again. But that's where I'm going to end this video. There's been a lot of leaks surrounding this game since it was announced, and not too much is left to speculate on other than gameplay, and hopefully we don't have to wait too much longer to see the gameplay for this game. Make sure to like and share, subscribe for weekly gaming videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.